Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 and the Conclave DLC. In the last episode, um, our vassal who had uh, Kent and Surrey decided to kick the bucket. And then, of course, the guy that I gave Surrey to decided to kick the bucket. Hopefully this guy will last a little bit longer. He is still heir to a bishopric, though, which is not good. Um, hopefully that doesn't keep. Although it might. I don't know. Oh well. Figure it out if it does. Anyway, let's uh, let's get right back into it. Waiting for claims. Uh, we've got uh, our chancellor up here in Bedford trying to get a claim. We've got a, a child who uh, needs an educational focus. Curious, indolent, and conscientious. Well, that's just going to be stewardship. And let's not have you do that. I think I might have missed one or, one or two of the uh, last couple people that I had. Um, let's have you do the uh, education. Alright, so you're going to Dorset. Thank you. Get out of here. Are you also going to Dorset? You are also going to Dorset. Stop what you do. Hey, all right, tech points. How are we doing on technology? Pretty much everything except legalism is uh, going up on its own, so I'm going to just let that continue to happen. We've got a lot of uh, tech points hanging around, um, so I'm good with that. daughter was born. That well, is my first daughter, so it's not a bad thing. Duty? Go with duty. I'll see you there. I'll see you there, too. Thank you. Oh, for crying out loud. Didn't see them. Not like I could have done a whole lot. Eh, we'll just move them in. These two can uh, stand down. Let's get even more in there. There we go. quite uh, all of them, but a pretty good number. And Pope likes me more. Not by a whole lot, but... Oops. Let's go ahead and stand down. There we go. Dang it. Missed you. Let's kill them. Oh, I hate these guys. So they, there is an open beta for the uh, the new patch, um, which should fix some of these things. And Bishop Swithelm is no longer court chaplain. You've just quit your job. I don't know why. We're going to have to fix that. Go ahead and kill them. Get back in there. You should love this. You should love going to uh, Rome to improve relations with the Pope. You're in Rome for crying out loud. There we go. Now that's what I'm talking about. Killing them all. What are we doing on laws? It could change some. Uh, let's see. So we've bumped up burger tax. I could bump up uh, church tax. Tribal tax or tribal levies might be a good thing to bump up uh, if I don't really care about anything right now. So let's see. Balanced noble obligations, 20%. Uh, what am I actually getting from uh, vassal levies? 
Only 683. Uh, let's see. Laws minus 40%. Um, so she could provide at most 499. Uh, you could provide at most 124. I mean, bumping that up could be good. Um, but I think for now I'll go with the uh, tribal uh, obligations, just so that when I do get tribals, uh, we will have more levy from them. Because we're, we wouldn't... I mean, there's no point in uh, taxing them at all. They get nothing in taxes. I mean, just look it up here. Yeah, monthly income 2.23. My monthly income is 20, so... He is getting... He is getting eaten up. I think we're gonna see a uh, Waldensian uh, Scotland. I kinda like that, actually. It'd be nicer if I had this land. I wonder if I could try for, uh, elective. I kind of dismissed it. Um, oh, has not previously changed the succession law, because I did do that. No vassal has a negative opinion of you. Uh, I thought I got rid of... Oh, no, that's right. This guy hates me. That is right. He is in my jail, though. Hopefully he will die soon. Well, I could always, uh, I guess when our next person inherits, I could try it. How many people can you actually raise? Oh, yeah, that's not going to dissuade him. Oh, wow. That is, that is a lot of troops. Alright, let's uh, get everyone up in Middlesex. Merge you all together. You're going to start running 21st, 22nd. I don't have anyone on this flank. Uh, you guys are all in there. Leo Frick, in, oh, how about you? You get there. Alright, so... Twentieth. This is not going to be very much, but it might be enough. Yeah, there we go. It was enough to uh, hold them. Pope Martinus II has died, and been succeeded by Pope Calestinus II. He is maimed, though. Um, oh, there's a coalition against the Arabian Empire. Oh, I'm going to have to look at that in a moment. Uh, you are... Piety plus 10. Oh, wow, that's good. Uh, that 11,000 piety. How do I? How am I getting so much piety? I'm content. That's part of it. That's a big part of it. Alright, let's see. Are we, uh, we are demolishing them. Oh! Wiped them out entirely, and all we lost was 40 troops. Oh, that is fantastic. How much did you actually... You got, uh, you got looted quite a bit, though. Oh, I love it. It's Iceland. Alright, so, there's a coalition against, uh, the Arabian Empire. Oh, hey, it's not the Abbasids. The Byzantines are not in it, interestingly enough. Um... Oh, they really pushed out this way. Quite a bit, I think. Although they might have done that a while back, and I wasn't paying that much attention. 
So there is quite a few, there are quite a few people in the uh, coalition. Uh, Kazaria, Yagbuid. Um, kind of surprised the Byzantines aren't. Maybe that's because the Byzantines have infamy of their own. No, nope. nope. the Pope is in it. That would be an interesting coalition. I would like to see that fire. Although I don't think it will. Oh, Abyssinia has uh, taken land over there. That's pretty cool. Don't usually see them pushing that way. Alright, well. Uh, what's going on with Saxony? Smithyard. Asbjorn's conquest of Mecklenburg and Swedish Saxon subjugation war. Hmm. How did you. Well, I guess she probably was taken in a. Uh, um, in a raid then. There's a lot of wives. Yeah, I kind of suspect that. Anyway. Uh, let's boost the speed back up. Uh, new cardinal appointed. Really like to get a claim here. Maybe I should just uh, move someplace else. I, mean, I suppose I could... Uh, oh, you took... Uh, Brefne. Oh, no, no, you're not, uh... A Brefne must have uh, gone in a holy war for Connacht. Conquered as a claimant. Or was this the, uh, host guy? Adventure was a host guy. Hmm. Oh, good for him. When did that happen? Oh, that's right. I think that happened in the last session. Um, you know what? Let's proselytize there. Let's uh, see if we can fix that. And it happened there in Kent, too. We should probably uh, do something about that as well. And getting an opinion with the, uh, the Pope isn't quite as good as it used to be, so... Keep has been built in Westminster. That's good. Kind of surprised these people in my uh, um, dungeon haven't died yet. All right, let's see if we can uh, eliminate those uh, raiders there. No, didn't do a whole lot against them, unfortunately. Come on, give me a friggin' claim. There is, like, nothing I can really do right now. Well, what could I do? Do you have any, uh... Nope, do you have any claims? You got no, no claims. Have you fabricated any claims? Nope. No one has fabricated any claims. Do you have any claims? You have claims on my stuff. I do wish that you'd have a pop-up here for uh, strong claims from... Uh, um, like on uh, external realms. A group of hedge knights have come to visit Wessex. Earl Athelwald has met with them and asks for my reply. Uh, I could welcome them with a lavish feast, gain 10 prestige for 41 gold. Welcome them reluctantly. Uh, 10 gold, 1 prestige, or refuse them access, but a heck of a lot of people don't like that. Um, I got the cash, so let's welcome them with a lavish feast. 
The Hedge Knights have participated in a minor tournament w together with our Knights in Wessex. Sadly, one of these landless vagabonds has been severely injured. Uh, allow them to stay at the castle while he recovers, uh, lose 5 prestige, gain 5 piety, or pay for some medication, send them on their way, 10 gold, 5 piety. Uh, I'll trade the uh, uh, prestige for piety. It's not a very good event. I got some more tech points. Keep has been built in Colchester. Oh, for crying out loud. Kid needs an education. We got brooding and affectionate. Uh, you are my son. Um, I guess we'll go for a uh, edu uh, stewardship education. Uh, let's go ahead and have someone else educate you. Who do we have? Do we have anyone uh, 16? You only like me by 18? Sure. So his uh, opinion will be increased by 10. So we get a little bit of an uh, opinion boost. He doesn't have great traits, though. It should be okay, though. All right, you know what? Let's move you over here and see if we can get Suffolk. My modest attempts to write poetry was never meant to be published in any way, but wherever I go, bards and minstrels are reciting and singing my poems. My poetry was never meant for others gain 15 prestige, don't need prestige, or fame and fortune awaits, gain the trait poet. I will take that. I believe, yeah, we lost the uh, amateur, uh, or the aspiring poet, but it is now a permanent uh, boost, and we get the same trade opinion, which is fairly nice. And there's no, you know, opposite trade opinion, and... <laughs> wow. Cuthbert here has really turned out to be awful. You know what? I'm going to order him to take the vows. And become a monk. I don't need him uh, inheriting. That's that. Those are just horrible, horrible stats. And no traits to even balance it out at all. Get out of my, uh, succession. <laughs> I suppose I could have, uh, um, ordered him, or I, I could have... I got some levy reinforcements. Uh, let's see. St. Swithin, maybe I can, uh... Oh, I, I just have free, s uh... Okay, uh, let's see. St. Swithin. Point successor. There we go. Just make him a uh, a bishop eventually. He won't be a good bishop. Maybe I should have gone for Norfolk rather than Suffolk. Knowledge of siege equipment in Wessex has increased. That's always good. Uh, you imprisoned a mayor for some reason. Do not know why, but she is cruel. after a period of illness, and she was quick. Mm, grumble, grumble. 
do have unlanded suns. I don't really care about unlanded suns. That is decreasing my uh, prestige by 0.4, but um, that's basically made up for uh, uh, with all uh, by my two duchies, so I'm, I'm okay with that. How you doing up here? Do I have you, uh, let's actually mark you as a special interest. My content lifestyle costs a bit, but I don't mind paying for it. It's not that expensive after all. I just lose some cash. Great. It's just ten gold, though. Which I should probably spend some. Get out of here. My trusted and devoted Chamberlain just brought to my attention that one of the ser serving maids had given birth to a child. According to him, my son is the father. Well, what are you doing there, boy? You are Grey Eminence, and you are trusting. I don't remember getting a uh, an event that you uh, came of age. Alright, so I could say, That's my boy! And he would gain the trait Lustful. Uh, force him to adopt the child to prevent scandal. Uh, lose 5 prestige, gain 10 piety. Uh, his opinion of me would be reduced by 10. But we would have another uh, um, child of our dynasty, well, would it? I'm not sure if it would. Give him a beating for messing with inferiors. Uh, he would gain the trait Wrath and Ambitious. Send him to confess his sins. And we'll just go with that's my boy. And he changes his hat because of that. Well... That is pretty big. Um, huh. Durham is now a, has a tribal holding in it now. And he is a tribal. Well, Denzian. He may end up going on uh, Holy War. Um, I would kind of like to get this county. Can I... I cannot declare war on him. Oh, I've raised army levies. That's That would be why. Okay. Looks like I can declare war on him. Just to make him a tributary. Don't really want to do that. How many troops does he actually have? 1.1k. You have 2.5k. The two of us together could uh, definitely take him. You've got nothing at all. I could make him a tributary. How old are you? You're ten. Eh. Ah, missed these guys. Get out of here. He, uh created a duchy title up there. Okay. Captured a guy who is a peasant leader. Um, probably not going to be able to ransom you. Nope. In that case, you could just die. Alright, so uh, you put your capital up there. Petty Kingdom of the Isles. Or are you actually Anglo-Saxon? You are Ang you are Anglo-Saxon. Neat. What are you? Ah, you've become Scottish. Interesting. You're Breton. You are, of course, Anglo-Saxon. You hate my guts. It's understandable. <laughs> are you also Anglo-Saxon? Wow, we have done uh, done a pretty good job. Uh, Getting Anglo Saxons in here. You are Welsh. Scotland has been uh, eaten up a little bit. Uh, he does have these two islands, though. That's that's pretty good. 
for him at least. Although he he'll almost certainly lose those to uh, some Norse conquests at some point. Oh, for crying out loud! My liege, I. Write to you with bad news from Wessex. My efforts to squeeze some extra taxes out of the population have met with resistance, and the peasants are arming themselves. I fear we may have a revolt on our hands soon. <sighs> well, at least it's just a revolt risk and not uh, anything worse. I'm glad that my troops can instantly teleport. Kindwolf feels I risk too much with my escapades and tried to persuade me to stop risking my life. But it's such a thrill! Let's take a look at uh, religions. Ooh. That is a lot of Waldensian that would need to be converted. I haven't even converted that county yet. I am not having much luck with these, uh... With these counselor actions. I am really disappointed by that. Uh, let's go with uh, another keep here. Um, we can go for more stables here. So I'm, I like to keep my money a bit high. Um... That's enough for, uh, mercenaries if something comes up. Hey, I got a tithe! Another hundred gold. You want to build a war chest? I could help you with that war chest by, uh, dying and having you inherit. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of rethinking my, uh, um... There's a host down here. What are you doing? You're just raiding. Ah, uh, I hate host raiders. Host raiders are so annoying. Uh, you've been released. What else? That's it. Alright, so I'm not getting much out of you. How about go up to Norfolk? Maybe I'll get the, the duchy title. Okay, I kind of figured that you might do that. You're, uh, what are you actually going uh, on a war for? Am I actually in this? I am in this. Holy war for... For the Isles? Oh yeah, I guess you can do that. Alright. We're in, um... That is Lancaster. Is Lancaster in the Holy War? Hold. Hmm. It'll be okay-ish. I mean, that would still be a part of his kingdom, so. Um. Let's help out a little bit. I think I will uh, leave these guys here in case something comes up. I mean, he probably doesn't need my help, but. All right, yeah, it looks like she's going to win that. I wonder if being in uh, ally territory will... Uh... Yep, Pope Calestinus II has died and been succeeded by Pope Hadrianus. Uh, I wonder if being in ally territory will prevent uh, me from getting attrition for being out of uh, supplies. I'm not sure. I can't remember. I'm not usually on this side of a uh, an alliance and actually helping out. Uh, Cardinal Cardinal Albino, probably Albino or something like that. You seek to kill someone. How about you end your plot? Oh, I am still I'm still on intrigue focus. I should probably change that. Uh, let's see. I am 59. 
My wife is getting too old to have kids. So maybe I'll just go with hunting. I'll get that uh, extra health and martial. Alright, you've uh, ended your plot. That's good. Argyle has fallen. Uh, I guess I can just uh, sit here and siege down that last holding. I'll raise you up. Oh, well. <laughs> That's fine. Crush those guys. Raiders have landed in Dunbar. I don't really care. I should take this pretty quickly. Oh, yeah. We've almost got it. Have you actually uh, joined in? Oh, no, you... Somehow they actually managed to get that. Alright. Siege of St. Molag has uh, been completed. Might run down here. I think I will. Should be a fairly easy... Uh... Raiders have landed in... Oh, actually, I think those are my own raiders. <laughs> Uh, raiders are in Kent. I suppose I should go take care of that. That does cut down on my own uh, tax income, so... Oh. Somehow, uh... I guess this guy probably went on a holy war of his own. How are you getting 264? That is not full. Eh, whatever. I'll just siege that down. Right, they got out of there. That's fine. Another cardinal was appointed. Uh, Non-aggression pact between uh, Cornwall is broken down, which is fine. Don't care about that. Care about that. Uh, declines a suggestion. Broken the betrothal. Okay. I'll just let my army sit up there. While I go ahead and uh, take out these guys. Oh, actually, you know what? It's about time to end the episode. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that. It is uh, December 1st. Uh. 860. We are assisting our family member. Oh, I see there. Take care of those guys. Uh, we are assisting our family member in um, his holy war. Uh, although it looks like I should probably split this in half. Actually, no. I'll, I'll take this and then go up there and, and defeat them. Um, actually, is uh, are you in this as well? No? You're just going up to help uh, in the Scottish Holy War for Orkney. Okay. Anyway, uh, we'll call this an episode. In the next one, we will continue to help our um, family member uh, go on a Holy War. He is... He and his vassals are just eating away at this Waldensian uh, um, uh, breakaway state, which is pretty awesome if we can continue to... Uh, you know, if he can if he can continue to hold this territory, that'll be great. That'll be really great. Anyway, we'll see you all in the next episode.